Lucy from the SHIB marketing team recently put out this tweet. This is very, very crucial, very important in terms of what Shiba Inu and the devs and the entire ecosystem is trying to do, at least a piece of it. And I wanted to talk about that in this video, break it down for you, and talk about what it means for the future of SHIB. And of course, we know the changes that are happening right now. These are massive changes. Now, we will see gradual changes over time due to the implementation of Shibarium, the metaverse, and of course, the AI integration. This has to do with self-sovereign identity, or SSI, and integrating that into the SHIB protocol. So the integration of SSI, as Lucy mentions here, is aimed at enhancing the security of Shibarium. Security is a major, major focal point whenever you're building out a blockchain whether it's layer one or layer two. Now with SSI, self-sovereign identity, users will have more control over their digital identities. That is really the true nature of decentralization, allowing them to manage and share their personal information securely. Now, Shaitoshi, lead dev of SHIB, mentioned that this move is part of a broader mission to reimagine and redefine finance, trust and identity in the digital age. Of course, Blockchain makes this all possible. With the new L2 Shibarium, it even makes it more real, right? Because you don't have to rely on a, another layer one. You can really tailor your own blockchain to how you see fit. So moreover, this SSI integration will be a key component of all of its future initiatives, meaning Shibarium's future initiatives. And uh, of course, Shibarium is the linchpin here. Without it, we can't really build out a true metaverse. We can't build out the gaming side of things. We can't integrate new D apps and new AI protocols, all of those sort of things. So in summary here, Shibarium aims to bolster security and user control in its ecosystem by implementing self-sovereign identity, reflecting the project's vision of innovating and reshaping the digital finance and identity landscape. This is a huge component of what Shibarium will bring to SHIB users, to all of you. So shout out to Lucy for putting this tweet out. Really, really broke it down nicely. And I wanted to kind of relay this message just in case you didn't see it. But keep in mind, this is not the only thing Shibarium is doing. It could be arguably the biggest thing because creating and integrating self-sovereign identity is an ability to parlay that into a decentralized economy. That's really what the aim here is, right? The future, hopefully, for SHIB is that we can transact with this, right? That is why they're building out these partnerships and relationships with, you know, huge companies, uh, really big and small companies, right? But huge brands, uh, the payment integrations, BitPay, those sort of partnerships. Uh, the other one, Travelocity, right? Like some of these big partnerships where you can utilize your SHIB, actually transact with it. And that is something that I think is unique about what SHIB's doing. They're really trying to get to a point where, yes, not only do you want to have a currency, uh, you want to be able to transact with that currency. So it's not just a store of value. It's not just an investment, right? It's actually being able to use, be used in everyday purposes. And one thing that SHIB provides because of this major, major supply, right? Huge, huge supply is the ability for these micro payments, right? That's where a lot of other blockchains and a lot of other cryptos lack is that they don't have a big enough supply to factor in all of the sort of things like, you know, buying a coffee and buying lunch and buying a t-shirt and a pair of socks and all of these sort of ancillary things, right? Rather than, you know, big purchases. We've seen Bitcoin be used to buy a Tesla, right? We've seen Bitcoin be used to buy real estate, these sort of big, big purchases, right? A lot easier for that to happen, a lot harder for the micro transactions, the everyday transactions to happen. That's where SHIB's really trying to fill the gap here. And it starts with this SSI protocol and integrating that into Shibarium. So if this video helps, let me know by hitting the like button down below, subscribing down there as well. Hopefully this gives you some more insight and intel on why Shibarium is so important and why we're starting with SSI, self-sovereign identity, and how that parlays itself into a ton of different possibilities down the line. If you got some value, by the way, uh, as, I as I mentioned before, hit the like button. really helps us out. Subscribe down there as well. Drop a comment too. Drop your thoughts. Appreciate you guys. We'll see you.